Okay. Z, we're here. What's this? What are we looking at? Hey. So right now we're looking at one of the tembis around the space. Mm -hmm. These are our spiritual guardians at Philippi Village. Right now we're at the daughter. So we have the daughter, the mother, and the grandmother. Okay, this is the daughter. This is the daughter here. Yeah. Then if we look over that way, where's the where's the mother at? Oh, the mother's that one. That's there? the grandmother over there, and then you have the, the mother, mother there. right over there. Okay, so let's back up and see the, the view of this whole, whole thing. Now, how did this come about? Do you know anything how this came about? Yeah. So these sculptures were inspired by Timby's story and her family. Timby had a daughter at a very very young age. Um, she came from a very disadvantaged family, um, but she was able to finish her school and make a success of herself regardless. And three major people played a huge role in her life, her mother and her grandmother. And these sculptures are in tribute to Tembi um, and her family, but also they mean to highlight or rather celebrate the strength of women. Mm -hmm. And that's why the grandmother, the mother, are the spiritual guardians of Philippi Village. Mm -hmm. So now, if you can just keep on walking to, like, we're going to the mother next, right? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, to, did, were they in Philippi? Where, 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 where did they? Where were they? Where were they at? Why, yeah. why is it in Philippi Village and not someplace else? It's at Philippi Village because this is a common story that you find amongst black families. Um, Tembi for certain I'm not sure where she was from mm -hmm. but I do know that this is a common story amongst all black communities mm. um, where there's a lot of teenage pregnancies uh, where there's a lot of unemployment, people come from disadvantaged households mm. and if you look at all these homes you'll find a lot of single mothers that are in these homes mm -hmm. and they find a way to raise responsible kids uh, uh, that end up doing great things in this world. Um, yeah, I'm for myself even was raised by a single mother. Um, you were raised here in Philippi? Where you raised so it? I was raised in a lot of different places. For some time I grew up in Kailicha uh, in my early years. Then I moved to Sea Point. Sea Point? Yeah. Oh, you up to New Forest. You are hoity toity. You're the water booger? So I was at Sea Point for some time. My mother was a domestic worker and we had a one room. Um, so if you owned a flat in Sea Point, you'd get uh, a laundry mat or laundry room, they'd call it. Mm -hmm. So you could either use that laundry room for your laundry or you could uh, allocate it to your domestic worker to stay. And because my mother was a 24-hour domestic worker... And she was doing the laundry. And she was doing the laundry as well. That's where we stayed. Um, in a small one room apartment um, and then after that we moved to Kukuletu during my high school years at the time where Kukuletu murder rate was at its highest and that's where I've been ever since mm -hmm. so number, how did you get to Philippi though? Do you live in Philippi or do you still live in Kukuletu? So I live in Kukuletu um, Guess who's here? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, you can keep on going Yeah That's enough so Hey, now, put the camera over here <laughs> Guess yes. who's here? They love me in Philippi Village. <laughs> Guess who's here? Kidding, kidding, <laughs> nice to you. see you. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Okay. We, we, we're doing something right now. Show all fire. Right. All right. Show Z. Yeah, boy. Oh, wait. I see, oh, it, I see it, all your posts. It just yeah. flipped. It just flipped, man. Oh, that's all right. Just because it's, 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 um, it's uh, how do you say it? The battery's probably going down. Okay. Uh -huh. So let's do this. Don't, don't, no, no, no. Hey. We do raw here. We we, we don't okay. do no editing. I know you. Y'all y'all be doing that post production and all the rest of that stuff. We don't care about that sort of stuff. Do you hold that side here while I pull this out? Uh, did I stop it? No, I did. No, okay, way. keep keep uh, oh, going way like that. Okay, yeah. now you got to be you got to be the gimbal yourself. Yeah. So now, so this, now this we're the at the mother. Now, uh, what's her name? What? The mother's name? So they're known as Dota Tembi, Mother Tembi, and Gogo Tembi. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That uh, makes sense. And also in our culture, you don't call uh, mothers and grandmothers by the name. Mm. Um, and I'm assuming that's why they're only called by Tembi, because Tembi is the daughter, so she's young, you can call her by her name. 
but in respect of the elders, you'd rather call them Coco and Mama. And as you know, also in the Eastern Cape, they call you Dunko. <laughs> he used to tell me. <laughs> right. And then we have Coco Tembe, who we're walking to right now. So uh, you're still asking me, how did I land up in Philippines? If you wish. Yeah, so um, the thing about our communities is that they're very interconnected. So growing up, uh, most of my relatives from my mother's side, because my mother grew up in the Eastern Cape, so most of her relatives allocated to Cape Town to find jobs. Mm. And they'd first start in Kailicha to get a place to stay, but then over the years, new communities started getting formed, especially in the early 2000s. Mfuleni, uh, Philippi, etc., etc., etc. So I've had a lot of relatives that live in Philippi as well. Mm. So even like growing up, there's no township like I didn't go to because I always had a relative there. Oh, that, that begs another question. Yeah. Who? How big is this? Okay, is it a clan relationship or is it what? What, what, what is it? Is it yeah. It's, it's a, no, but your clan is pretty big. Yeah, so my, my mother's side is very, very big. My father, he doesn't have a lot of relatives. Mm -hmm. But as I said, I was raised by my mother. So uh, my mother came from the Eastern Cape. She had like 10 siblings, you know, uh, who? 10 siblings. A 10? Yes. But then remember, when I say siblings, it's not necessarily biological ah, sisters and brothers. Okay, okay, yeah. So they were all raised in one home because all the mothers and fathers were in Cape Town making a living and then they were raised by their grandmother and grandfather so when they grow up they grow up thinking they're all biological sisters and brothers sure. right so they've always grown up like that and they were they raised us to think that way as well mm -hmm. that we see um their cousins as our uncles as our aunts mm -hmm. so that's why we have such a huge family mm -hmm. you know until this day like when we go to the eastern cape for like a funeral or like a ritual mm -hmm. Well, there will be two quantums leaving Cape Town mm -hmm. going to the Eastern Cape mm -hmm. so that's what I'm saying like there's no township that I'm not familiar with in Cape Town well, uh, where did your mother come from in the Eastern Cape you know Alice Alice well, I know the town Alice. Yeah. I lived in Alice yeah I live in Limbete <laughs> in the people don't know uh -huh. Salamanzia hey these are my pet pl pl places you know there you go I know Alice very much oh okay there you go so that means that she got well that, that's where the university University of uh, Fort Hare Fort Hare is. yeah but did she uh, have an interaction with that did she go to Fort Hare no <laughs> so she had me young she had me when she was 20 it was during her matric year and my grandmother was not happy with her and my grandmother um, then asked her oh, to yeah, find let a Let the soccer people go by. No, yo, yo, go ahead, man. You, I see you got, you got to hydrate and everything like that. I got you. All right. So um, her gra my grandmother uh, asked her to go find a job to make a living instead and didn't support her. Um, I'm trying to you know, get her to get further education. So then she had to get a job. And so she has no for the qualifications but she was so good at pastry that she she went through uh, short courses and she later became one of the best pastry chefs in Cape Town really? yeah oh. and where, and where, 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 where did she here. apply the, no, he's too good looking no leave him alone <laughs> Stay with just your five minute morning we need to leave okay just hey, do, do, do the grandmother how are you, man? How are you? Do the grandmother here yeah so yeah we okay, had I'm oh, sorry that was the end yeah. <laughs> now we're at Gogo Tembi, um, where it all started, I guess. So this was the first one done. No, they were all. Actually, I'll be lying. I wasn't here when they when okay. they did the the, the sculptures. But what strikes um, me about this, and I guess we're going to end pretty soon. What strikes me about this? This here has all this. Uh, let's call it playground stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's call it right. But it, to me, it's appropriate that the grandmother exactly. has the playground area exactly. because, you know, <laughs> you could put... Exactly. But they got to work, you know. Exactly. Let's just stop here for just a second. The other thing that interesting to me, when I saw this, I'm looking at this little thing here. I'm going, yeah. oh, if I was a kid, oh, man, I've been walking, you just shouldn't have to fall in the wall. I've been doing all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, people don't climb up on the arc, but it seems like that, that's inviting, too. You know? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, nah, they never do. They respect the, 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 the sculptures. Usually they just come sit under there for shade. Um, some come and have a smoke here. 
but you'll mostly find kids in the garden as well. Issa too is away, she's in Brazil, uh, but she usually works on our garden. Um, so yeah, she wouldn't be happy with how we've kept her garden, <laughs> well, but yeah. she's very good at maintaining it. Uh, What's that yeah. for? Is that water coming out? You, you have a fountain there? Uh -oh. The yeah, so that's to water the, the, the plants. Okay. Um, yeah. Don't know much about it. I'd be lying. Yeah, because you're, you're... I'm the, the sound guy. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> you're not a garden guy, but you could be a garden guy also. But we could go closer, just have a closer look at Google Timby. Very, very beautiful. You see the jewelry, the necklace, the bracelets. Very, very, very beautiful. Is it designed so people can will add to it? What, 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 what happens? When you say people will, add what, to it. What, 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 does, does the artist want people to add to this? I mean, not. Oh, add. The, 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 the jewelry is not. Yeah, yeah. So the, the jewelry was added uh, by a community stakeholder department. Um, and yeah, they were just trying to be creative and they put the jewelry up. I'm not sure how they got up there, uh, but that was not part of the artist's design. Okay. Well, Z, thank you so very much. I appreciate you taking your time out of your busy day because you're an important person. Thank as you they so say. much. Or as, 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 I guess, as you and everybody else, you're a very important person. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I usually don't hang out with VIPs, you know, I'm allergic <laughs> to VIPs. <laughs> So, so I'm glad to hang out with you. All right, thanks a lot, man.